Hello, and welcome to Michael's pre-workout meal. So my pre-workout meal is pineapple and cocoa pops and a protein shake. I got it. This thing, this pineapple cutter from Amazon. Chunks of pineapple already cut up and boxed from Aldi are like two quid, two fifty or something like that. But an actual full on pineapple is like 70p. So I got this to cut them up and it is actually been this cost costs like four pounds. And it's been a revelation. Honestly, watch. All of that for 70p, far more than you would get in the already like pre-diced box. Amazing. That's meant to be 70 grams, but let's just round down. The vegan protein goes everywhere. Kind of consistency of it gets everywhere and it sticks to everything. That is 30 grams of protein. Et voila, one pre-workout meal. 200 gram pineapple, 70 gram cocoa pops, 30 grams of protein. Woohoo! I never used to eat pineapple but I absolutely love it now. So good. I always eat the cocoa pops first because they get soggy. I hate soggy cereal. So you have to attack them as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah, I actually love this meal. I'm just loving my meal plan in general. Like, obviously, honestly, like, I feel so nourished by it. Like, I feel so fulfilled by it. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. See, to be honest, you know that I'm seeing visual, physical results from being on this diet and this meal plan after only three weeks. Like, it's just a virtuous cycle because I'm so motivated to do even more and just double down. And to be honest now, I'd actually be like, scared of an off-plan cheat meal because I'd be scared that it would lead to a binge which would then cause me to regress and, and undo some of that progress so I'm, I'm absolutely I'm loving the process right now I, I really really am but yeah anyway go to the gym
Post-workout meal time, we have 150 grams of blueberries, bagel with jam, 30 grams of vegan protein. I bought a granite chopping board so I could make super slick food reels. I'm really happy with it. I can't remember how much it cost, but it wasn't expensive. And it is proper granite. Like, it's absolutely solid. It looks great. So, slick food reels pending. sister. I got her tickets for a crime lecture for Christmas. Just came down and made a night of it. We're staying here in the Radisson and then the show is literally across the road. So buzzing but I want to show you this room. How nice is this room? It wasn't expensive. Shiver like nice. The decor's cool. It's like bougie on a budget. I really really like it. An espresso machine. Money. But like how nice is the art and stuff? Like it's really really cool. I'm really really happy with it and the staff have been super nice. So yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Room's lovely. We're gonna go to Mowgli for dinner. I've checked in with my fitness coach. We have agreed a healthy meal so that I don't stray off plan. I'm gonna get the bang bang chicken but with the sauce on the side and basmati rice so... Ooh. <laughs> But it's worth it. I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey. That's what I keep telling myself. It's not for me anymore. But um, he's heard enough about that already anyway. It's lovely. I mean, my sister, my sister is like my best friend. We don't get enough quality time. So I'm, I'm really, really happy we're doing this. So yeah, drove down. Like if you've drove to Liverpool or Manchester, you know, it's just a straight road. It's so easy. So drove down, no hassle. Parked in a wee car park right around the corner as well. So convenient. Couldn't have been any easier. Been here, dropped our bags off, went and got a coffee. Now we're just going to get changed and dinner then the show yeah so it's gonna be really, really good side note i'm wearing trousers a jumper and chelsea boots i almost left the house without the chelsea boots so i would have been going trousers jumper night vapor max 
Thank God I remembered just before I left. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to get ready for dinner now. But I'll vlog some of the hotel as well. I'm going to go down in the lobby and that. I'll show you that because that's really nice. And then we'll head out for dinner. And this is my sister's room. Slightly more spacious than mine. But yeah, pretty much same vibe really. Do a fit check. Dot Martin Chelsea boots of course. Trousers are from H&M. Mm, top is from Bershka or H&M. Possibly Bershka, I think. I like this top, but casts on everything. It gets like fluff everywhere. I do like it. Oh, I'm excited for Mowgli, but I can't really get everything I want. But like I say, all good. That car then made me think it was later on. Yeah, I know. Just in case. I didn't even spot that. I need to hit my steps target before I go to bed, so I'm down. But how cool is this? So, and I've got to check in tomorrow morning, so I want to be lean and I want to be on point. Like, I just I feel right now like I'm making progress every day, like actual visual, tangible progress. So, that's why when it comes to like snacking, I'm like, I've worked so hard today, like, I'm not undoing that by eating rubbish. And then, seeing like now, like, I've worked so hard all week to hit all my targets, so I'm not messing it up now just because I'm in a different place. I got it done. This is a really nice gym, and I had it to myself, so it was good. I didn't really feel like I was sacrificing anything by coming down here, I loved it. It's good, the lighter I feel, the fitter I feel as well, which is good, it's fun. But I'm just going to do a wee stretching routine now, then go up, shower, do my check-in in bed. Oh, and eat. <laughs> Done. I'm done. Steps done. Showered. Stretched. Done one of the pliability routines. Feel good. Um, I've honestly had the best time. 
Honestly, it's been so nice. It's been hassle-free. Like, it's breezed down. Dinner was lovely. The picture, I suppose you would call it, was super interesting. So busy. And yeah, just came back, got changed, and took the gym, beasted it, listened to Harry Potter while I was on the treadmill for an hour. Um, done some ab exercises, and stretched, and then came up, showered, done another pliability routine, and now I'm ready for bed. But it's been the nicest time, honestly. Me and my sister need to do this kind of thing more. I mean, I still see my sister a couple of times a week. We're very much in each other's lives, but she is, like I said, super important to me. So yeah, we need to do stuff like this more. Because it was, it's been so lovely. But yeah, I'll we'll get up early tomorrow, just head back up the road, and then I'm not sure what I'm doing. I still need to plan my week and stuff. But yeah, it's been great. Just steak, asparagus, green beans and spinach. And I'm allowed to carry a diet iron brew, which is which is good. It's so good I actually look forward to it every night. I've been struggling to get my steps in. Like, I've just been struggling to fit them all in a day, I'm on two days in a day now, so I've ended up if I haven't done them during the day, I've had to go back out at night, which obviously isn't ideal and then in the morning it's just so cold and dark. And, and also I'm struggling to get them out about because I'm so bored of like, walking all the boost that I walk. So I've got one of these walking pads and it's going to change my game up I'm going to cut my steps in, no problem. So 4,000 in the morning, fasted on this, breakfast and then walk to the gym and train on the gym and stuff. But no, I'm really not happy. I see people with them all the time online. Like, you could easily look nice as well. Obviously there was like loads of variations of price and you can go on as high as you want. But you just got a basic one and then he was going to use it too. She's looking to be shape for holiday. So yeah, I'm buzzing. I've already done 15,000 today, so I'd like to afford on this. It's only came today, but no, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. It's just trying to make things more efficient, is it? And optimise, like to make your day as efficient as possible. So, but I'm, um, like I've said before, like I'm so focused on my fitness right now and just getting the like, best possible shape. So, this is really going to help. Hi guys. So that brings us to the end of another one. The last thing I just wanted to mention was how much I'm enjoying journaling right now. Planning my day out the night before. I've used a planner for years and years and years, but it's always it's always been practical, but it hasn't always made me feel better at, or, you know, alleviated stress, it made me feel like I've got less on my plate, but now it really is. And I think it's just because of this Grace Beverly planner, the way it's set up, like just a section, quick ticks for things that take less than five minutes, tasks for things that take up to 30, and projects that take more 30, substantial projects, three non-negotiables. But the thing that when I watched her YouTube video, when she explains how to use it, she says like, you know, everything isn't a quick tick, like your tasks and your projects can then be broken down into quick ticks. And that, that's been a big game changer for me, like breaking big tasks up into smaller tasks. And then what I didn't used to do is I didn't used to prioritize. So I would just have, you know, say 10 things on my list. 
but I didn't really know what to do first so now I number them all in order and then I write them on my schedule for the day which is kind of self-explanatory and maybe a lot of people do that already but it's, it's, it's something that I didn't do and it's something that I'm really really enjoying now like I just feel like my day is stress free and streamlined because I always know what I'm doing next I'll show you but this is one from the other day for example like quick ticks broken down into smaller quick ticks tasks projects, three non-negotiable things I'll get done today and then that's how I've scheduled them. But yeah, I'm, I'm just really enjoying doing that right now. Like I've got, like I said before, I've got such a good routine like bed for 10, up for 6, my day's already planned out, my gym clothes are already sitting out and doing all those little things so that your your day can just kind of go on autopilot as much as possible. I've just found it for my own like well-being and happiness and stuff like that. It's just made such a difference. Anyway, that's us for another one. I will be back soon, hopefully next week, just depending on how much we get through. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it and I will see you soon.